Uh, my, I don't know, I think my mic is too sensitive today. I have no idea how did this happen. Hey Blue, I need you to help me check the volume. Is my microphone too loud? Or is the music too low? It's a bit loud. How about now? I think it's still loud, but... Death thing, death thing. One, two, three. It's alright. What about the sound of the game? This game has sound, so it's pretty hard to, for me to deal with. I'm not used to playing games with sound. Maybe I play a little bit and then I regulate it. Also, this is, this is just for you. <laughs> because I don't think anybody else is gonna show up to this mess. You're gonna have, have to help me out here. Ah... Uh. Alright, let's start a new game. Forty percent of people voted for Alona. Yeah, all all three of you, <laughs> all three votes. Hold on a second. Also, this music is super depressing, but let's go. So we start off uh, rolling our alias, what we, we will be known, what's our title, basically. The ninja, surprised leader, let me look for something good here. The snob, the bastard. Hey, Okairo. Oh, you are in for this mess. You you made it, you made mistakes. Duskmaster. Also, this game really likes to use the word "gay." I don't know why. We might see a gay title here. Star bomb. <laughs> Whatever, Carno. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's some really good ones here. The king, neutral smile, surprise left hand, I don't like this one. <laughs> oh, there we go, the gay. <laughs> Not going for that. Money of fire. The emulator. I don't know if the emulator is a word here. Uh, the platinum karma religion. Karma rebellion, not religion. Madonna kingdom. The late chick. Epic hero. Dear skeleton. Yeah, I saw that. Loser blaze. Daybreak chinchilla. Butt flight. I don't understand this one. The king grace. Uh, Oh, I think there was retard. Idiot is also a title. Let's look for an idiot one. Pretty hard to find. D1. Baby God. <laughs> Disappointed Platinum. It's 
basically the mice platinum. Sex destruction. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Friendly Spider, Shocket Falcon, Joint Clown, Top Alien. Come on, give me a good one. How could Snob? Also, what this character should be, even? What you guys think? I was thinking about playing a gunner and hopefully not find a grenade because they are they are the most obnoxious sound in the game. Also throwing grenades is kinda lame and it also kills your pets because it does AoE damage. But guns in general are pretty good, especially early on. Give me my idiot title, come on. I'm just looking for the word idiot now. Bad Abyss. Golden Tiger. Only blue. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're gonna play as blue. No, we're not. Oh, so close to glory. God wise. Archangel legend. Flame Snake uh, The Pad Pagoda Futuristic slave, what even? I'm gonna end up getting a generic one. I already spending too much time on this, but there is not much left of the game. Oh, there we go, sexy bullet. That's perfect. All right, what's your profile? You had no family. <laughs> Quick setup, I see. We didn't even get to the start rolling yet. So we're gonna spend half an hour there as well. This is half of the game, basically. It's just making shit up. You had no family in working in search of a missing person. Although you always strict with yourself, you don't have any friends worth mentioning. Your hobby is napping. Oh, let's reroll that. You lost your hometown in a war. Who few important promise? No, that's... No. God. Ah, I lost my title, God damn it. I made mistakes. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh man. There we go, Midnight Wolf will do. You were a local lord. Your jokes are terrible, you fall in love easily. That's fine, I guess. What should we be? A snail? A lich? I usually play as a goblin. I like goblins starting stats. They have Eye of Mind, which lets you do a lot of critical and healing. <laughs> That's about it. They regenerate pretty fast, but other than that, they are very mediocre. Holy play Abbey Lumber. So, do you missed the raft of the run yesterday? I think I am about to die. Because all my pets died, except a beloved. <laughs> so it's just me and him. 
Everybody else is just screwed. What a nightmare. Let's go Goblin, but I'm gonna rename it to Cobalt. Cause that makes me feel better. Uh, Gunner. Gunner starts with a lot of... Uh, Gunner starts with negotiation, which is kind of important. Like, there's a skill for everything in this game. Like, here are all the skills in the game. All they level as you do those actions. And I think I'm gonna start with 8 leafing because weapons, guns are very heavy to carry. And we're probably gonna be seeking to use armor. And if you don't have that, you basically cannot carry anything without being slowed down. And you have a speed attribute in this game, so you don't wanna be slowed down. It's very important to have speed so you can run away from things and attack fast as well. But there's everything, there's statics, which is basically fighting, except it does increase your health. There's a two-handed skill, there's dual wield as well. You can dual wield anything in this game. Two shields, two staffs. You can dual wield two guns, but you cannot fire them. You have like two hand slots and uh, a hundred weapon slot, all separately. So you can use two shields and a gun. Or you can just have a gun for decoration. A gun that increases your stats while you melee stuff. Oh yeah, let's go with 8 leaf it. Uh, <laughs> here's the other interesting part of the run. Just to get some st good stats rolls. I think those mostly don't, imp uh, don't matter. Like you, you gain a lot of stats pretty soon. At the start at least, after that it takes forever. So those starting stats doesn't really mean much. Uh, and now we have traits as well. We can pick Agile which increases our global speed. Uh, there's only one type of speed in this, this game, I don't know why. Low Charisma, well we're a Goblin so what you expect. I mean we're a Cobalt. Uh, I'm gonna pick Agile for the speed, got pick, uh, what else, I think that's all that matters. Lucky, get some luck. And... I believe people pick up Dimensional Move, which is basically giving control at blink to your character. Seems pretty, pretty good, but I don't wanna go for that. That is... A lot of traits that are just I don't even know what they are. <laughs> like some are very specific, like poison tolerance, and then you have stuff like sexy dance. Also, this game is translated, so there is a lot of stuff that is obscure or not explained at all, if not incorrect. Zimba. Do you guys know what Zimba is? Because I have no idea. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna get up in this aesthetic just to have more health. Alright, now we can work on our portrait. I really have something in mind and I'm just gonna go for it. Cause otherwise we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> uh, that's body. What is that? There we go. We are cobalt, so we need some doggy ears. There they are, and the tail. There we go, we look exactly the same. Oh, I forgot the eyes. Now we look exactly the same. What kind of cobalt looks like that? An enemy cobalt, that's who. Where's the green skin? Wait, that's for goblins. Anyways, this game has like six types of game, and we're gonna play Essential, which is basically not a hug-like, you just have infinite lives. If you die, you lose some loot, and you respawn at the town, I think, or at your house. Oh, you respawn at your house. Yeah. 
Uh, you can try the other modes, like you can try to play in roguelike mode. The problem is that sometimes the game crashes and in that counts as a out of 4 because you can save scum in this game if you out of, out of 4. So if your game crashes, you get punished, you get minus 100 karma, which makes all the guards in the town come for you and it's pretty terrible. So now we are rolling our age and height, but at the same time we are also rolling our... Can you even see my mouse? Yeah. Uh, our starting gear. You can see my armor change in my portrait there as well. So I'm just looking for a not shitty weapon to start. Not even care about my age or height. <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah. Let's start. There's an Ahor already. I think that's fine. I used to have a pack of skins that someone made. And it changes a lot of skins in the game and I didn't really like it. Okay, you guys tell me if the sound is too loud now. I have to low lower it so this game has a very sounds okay okay this game has a very bad tutorial where it teaches you to reach rotten meat uh, not rotten meat and cooked meat and human meat which you so shouldn't eat it makes you go insane until you become like a cannibal or something it also teaches you to dig what is that thing So, we're just gonna uh, blaze through the tutorial because it gives you some gear. Let me see what's my starting gear. Okay, we have a bronze machine gun, which is pretty bad. Started with a lot of bronze gear. Pick up all that. Uh, I'm over. Wait. Did I. Oh, I think I picked up the shaft, that's why. The shaft that you have to be carried. Okay, get out of my house. You finish the tutorial, they give you a bunch of shit that you can sell. Or you can leave it at your house to decorate it. Like, just, <laughs> just leave those windows there. Uh, here's my freezer, I'm gonna put on this corpse there so it doesn't rot. Pick up some stuff and head out to the town. Yeah, the cloak sprite is that this sprite that every roguelike uses. Uh, okay, we already got ambushed, but that's fine. I have a gun. So this is the overworld, and also the boots. Yes. Uh, how do I? Where do I begin explaining stuff? This is the. Uh, basic village. This is where you usually go when you start the game. You can pick up some crafters and the game generates a bunch of runout dungeons throughout the map and each dungeon has a level. This one is 14 so we don't want to go in there. Uh, we have to explore to see the others. Go play some piano. I don't have uh, performance. I also don't have any charisma. We're gonna go get our Fat little girl. And immediate take off all her stuff. Uh, the long <laughs> she started with a cursed longbow. Okay, I cannot take it from her. And I'm gonna immediately oh, she already drink from the fountain, that idiot. Go identify all the stuff I have on my inventory. Because everything in this game could be blessed or cursed. Like if you drink a cursed potion, you're probably gonna vomit or something. And the other thing I usually do when I start the game is look for the odd characters like this one. He's an adventurer. He has gear of his own and you can trade with them. And this is basically why I did the tutorial because the tutorial gives you a blessed scroll of vanish curse which is worth quite a bit 
so by trading with those guys you can maybe get something useful early on. Unfortunately none of them carry guns, so I'm not gonna get guns from them. I can talk to this guy to see the list of adventures that are on this town that I can trade with. Those are all the adventures in the game. Like they, they wander about, they go do dungeons and stuff like that. You can dwell them and get killed by them. It also shows us and your pets. We're in last place, we haven't done anything yet. Uh, yeah, it shows where they all are. They are mostly sat in towns. There is only two adventures here to trade with, so we're not gonna get anything out of them. So I'm just gonna sell all my stuff. <laughs> Most of my stuff is, isn't worth anything, except this scroll, like I said. So I'm gonna save that. I also have to watch out for this scroll to not burn. Just sell all this stuff. So this rock. I could wield those. Should I actually train the little girl? I usually like to get rid of her. Uh, I don't know where she went already. And there she is. Let me give her axe and shoot back. She is way stronger than us, which <laughs> makes you look pretty bad. Uh, this is the... what what you call it? I don't even know what to call this. This is where you pick up quests. And usually you wanna go for quests like birthday, where you sh the NPC just asks for an item like a rune. And if you have one, you just give it and complete the quest. It's pretty easy to do, usually. I got unlucky and there aren't any useful quests for me to do right now. So I'm just gonna check the shops. And see if there isn't any other gun for sale. There's a bronze pistol. That sucks. There's also a ballista, which you cannot carry. Oh, there's a glass shotgun. I'm gonna buy that. Also, every item in this game has a material, like mica, steel, or cloth. Yeah, the size of the ballista. You cannot even see the other, you can barely see the arrow beneath. But yeah, everything has a material and you can even change those materials. Uh, some of them are made of, out of raw, which you can eat, like I can eat this armor. Which I will because... How do I look at it? There we go. It increases my constitution. So eating it will give me the effect of the of the item. See, my constitution develops because I ate it. Yeah, eating is a big thing in this game. What else could I get? I think that's all. Also, this game doesn't have a inventory. Uh, inventory hotkey there's no hotkey to see your inventory it's all through actions so usually if you want to see your inventory you can go to the drop func function remember elven dwarf yeah there is so much stuff and any item can be made out of anything like you can see glass arrows raw arrows there's a raw bolt i could eat <laughs> doesn't give anything so i better not even bother Oh yeah, cold proof, proof blankets. This game has item destruction. Like any cold attack can break your potions. So you have to carry cold proof blankets to protect it. There's also kitty banks. You can use those to extort money. And that's the only way I think to give money to your pet. And it's important to give money to your pet so your pet can increase his stats. There's so much stuff in this game, Jesus Christ, we're gonna be two days here explaining things. Uh, there's a shelter for sale. Shelters are important to es uh, escape the adder wind, which mutates you. Uh, gives you some really nasty permanent mutations. No, not permanent, you can cure it, but it's very expensive to do so. There's also normal mutations in this game. I'm gonna quaff from this font fountain to see if I can get some mutations out of it. Got paralyzed. Got paralyzed again. Got paralyzed again. Oh, there we go. My voice becomes scary. 
So I have minus five charisma. <laughs> nice. That's a good start. We should play the piano now. We cannot go negative at least, so I only have one. Uh, here's our potential development of stats. Uh, everything's superb except charisma because goblin. And as you develop stats, this goes down, which means it makes it harder for you to level those stats. So you have to like, I don't know, get a maid in your house so a trainer will show up. So the trainer can uh, charge you a few coins to develop your potential more. It's so bad. Uh, also, what is that? We also have potential on every skill. Like you can see it's 133% for 8 lifting. Having item destruction and actually ways to counter it both nice but also calls for shorter games. Otherwise it becomes too annoying. Uh... What's the long average win time? I don't know, I played a single game for like two weeks and I didn't win it. <laughs> because you just get lost doing uh, anything in this game except what you're supposed to do. I believe this game has a main dungeon like in Diablo 1. And once you clear that, the game is over. But since this is Elona Plus, which they added two more acts after that one. I could be wrong, I'm not really sure about this, but yeah. Have you ever played piano in the first town? It's an experience. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you play the piano with no performance, you can die. <laughs> because they will just throw a rock at you and the, ho the rock will hit pretty hard. So I'm scared of going near the piano. I thought you were a pro in Lona. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, all these skills have also potential. Like you can see the potential of my, my negotiation went down because I negotiated a lot and it leveled up as a, as a result. And I have 5 points to spend so I could put a point there that will give it experience and also slightly increase the potential. But what I really should be invested on is my kill dude skills or my 8 lifting or stuff like that. What is my uh, gun? Fire arm. This is where I have to dunk my points. Uh, I believe also the marksman skill. I don't remember if this applies to guns. I think it does. You've trade up more than you. Oh, that explains quite a bit. There are quest that requires you oh there we go party time where you have to entertain the the uh, guests and that's one way of getting killed as well <laughs> if you don't have uh, performance skill you can also see by the number of uh, money and the head the head color that those quests are way harder for your current level oh, I usually do hunting quests but this one looks way too hard for me to to go for it so let me finish drinking this water oh some enemy showed up that's a problem <laughs> right luckily we have a little girl also pets get happy from killing stuff uh, how do I see it yeah, yeah. Here is their loyalty or whatever you want to call it. We can also change it. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Let's just leave the little girl the way she is. Oh, more enemies showed up. I just want to get mutated, come on. Okay, the well is dry. There's another well on this village. Oh, there's a NPC to trade. Uh, this is like a unique item. I don't know what to call it. It's not a unique. I don't know. It's just a really good wakshaki. It has uh, its own name. Let's drink some water. 
lost curiosity. I think that means I lost perception, which is pretty bad. Or I, I, I think I lost learning, actually. Feel more in touch with the world. Okay, now I got perception. I got blinded. Got poisoned. Right. Uh, my potential for charisma expands. Oh, nice. We can actually get our charisma back one day. Uh, I just lost charisma. Uh, some guys showed up. Right. Okay, the wheel is right. So, next thing we should do. The game has a lot of static quests, which is my main problem with it. Every time you start a new game, you're gonna be looking for those. Oh, there is the piano. For those starter quests. Also, let's speak with Shanna. She's gonna give our basic quest. If you don't know Shanna, she is the... Uh, she's the NPC the other NPCs really like to talk about. Like, there we go. Everyone loves Shanna's ass. That's the classic. Anyways, she gave us a quest to go into this hole to kill some thieves and they keep stealing our money. I have to really watch out because I could easily die. If one of those thieves has a large rock, I'm so dead. Also, once you level up, uh, level 2, you get this gauge release. It's a skill that lets you do a special attack. Like that. But yeah. The quest is to just come here and kill everybody. And we come here, we kill everybody, and we steal everything to sell at the shop. Because selling in this game. There's also a lost sweet case there that we can give to a guard. The thing with anime is if you actually like how something looks, you are embarrassed. <laughs> uh, anyways, we finish the quest. We get. Uh, that's a. Uh, we get a wand of identify, which is kind of useful early on. It's kind of helpful right now, I, I should say. Uh, this is the NPC we go to to identify our stuff when we have too much. Which we do, because I picked up a bunch of shit. I can eat this long staff. Uh, staffs in general uh, improve your ability to use magical device. And magical devices are pretty helpful early on. Or throughout the game, I should say. It's basically evocations in stone soup. I'm gonna sell all those barrels I stole. I didn't steal. I earned them. I'm gonna sell this machine gun. Sell it. Daggers has luck peak and increase your luck. Imagine if you could eat Arga. You would get spit out of it. Which is really good. I don't like this brass plate. I'm gonna wield this long staff, even though I should be eating it. I just want the stats it gives. Those boots are made of cloth, so they don't have any defense. Oh, you can see each armor has two stats, DV and BV. I don't remember what. I think it's deflection valve and I don't know what the other one is. It's basically dodging an armor. Equipment in this game gives you evasion. So that stuff. Maybe there's some good armor for me here. I want stuff that is not so heavy. Or that at least offers decent defenses. We could buy some shoes to increase your speed. This lets me disarm traps. I'm gonna buy this one. Uh, glass equ equipment also increases your speed. Mm, 
me through instead of speed. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. Uh, what did I just buy even? Also, I should be looking for some... Some gloves in this game give you accuracy, which is really good. You have a really hard time hitting stuff early on. Like my hit, my, my two hit is 70% chance before enemy dodging. So, and some enemies have all the dodging in the world, like some, like a bat. Bats are nearly impossible to hit. But the good thing is that this game has stealth, but it doesn't have noise. <laughs> So if you have stealth, you can just throw grenades at everybody and they will never notice until it's their time to get hit. Uh, I'm gonna do another optional quest, although maybe I shouldn't do this one yet. Just killing a bunch of putits. But there's some acid blobs at the end and they are very mean. I think I'm just gonna come back to, to this place later. Uh, like I said, the, the thing I don't like the static quests is that they always have the same stuff, except uh, the only thing that changes is the material they are made of. So, there was a leather armor there, and there's some gloves here that I want to pick up, just because they are a bit good early on. I think nobody actually does this except me, but that's fine. I'm gonna get out of here, and we're gonna do another static quest. <laughs> before we complete that one. That is to save a dog. Yeah, you can't really do much with stealth in this game. You don't have the same stabbing as you do in Stone Soup. All it really does is let you score a critical attack. Right, we're starting to look pretty ugly. You can also buy some food. Uh, yes, I shouldn't have sold that. I actually bought that boat and then I sold it for no reason. Oh, whatever. So... We're going to the puppy cave, which is a very weird cave in this game. It always creates a new floor whenever you go down on it. And our mission here is to find a dog and bring him out. And that's why the dungeon is that way. Uh, his spiders are very hard to hit. I'm gonna hope the little girl takes care of that. And I'm gonna kill this ranged guy before he kills me. That's a clown. <laughs> uh, I'm getting killed by the spider. I got netted. <laughs> Luckily we have the little girl here. And there's a bat. Okay, I got lucky and hit him. Uh, the enemy variety in this game is huge. Also, I might die instantly because this game has traps. This game has very deadly traps. And unless you'll be super careful and uh, use search like 10 times before you move you're gonna end up stepping on them uh, like my little girl just did she got teleported trapped so yeah I'm not gonna a box of beasts yeah exactly I'm not gonna play that carefully this game is very similar to Adon like there it's a complete ripoff but I don't know, I like this game better. I didn't really get into a dong. Uh, but yeah, don't be surprised if I instantly die. Because I'm not gonna be searching for traps. Probably gonna, okay. Like the cool thing about the goblin is the eye of the mind skill, which lets me score criticals. The other way to hit enemies that are too evasive, like that angry ghost, hungry ghost, uh, hung hungry demon, sorry. Uh, those are very nasty, they make you hungry pretty fast, and getting hungry in this game could be very annoying, 
Especially right now because I don't have any food, I believe. I do have a few. I could eat my staff as well. You have, you can carry some traveler's food, but it doesn't do anything. This Morgia, Curaria, and Stomophilia, though, they... I believe they give you stats if you eat them, like health. They are very hair and very good. And you always find them on that slime dungeon that I did. That's another reason why you why you go there. Anyways, I'm gonna use my... Uh, gauge release on the demon so I can kill him before so it's the only way for me to hit him basically and that guy is gonna kill me this guy has a gun <laughs> uh, oh, you if you look at enemies you it will tell how strong the enemy is like he's at least twice stronger than you you get killed unless miracles happens that's how you know <laughs> that an enemy is stronger than you although he might lie a little bit but yeah uh let's walk away. Little girl killed somebody there. Oh, the game also has neutral uh, NPCs everywhere in the game. Like, I cannot look at that guy. I want to look at him. There we go. The Fallen Soldier. Uh, he's neutral, he just wanders about, he never attacks you, and he attacks hostile enemies. Uh, but I could attack him and kill him if I want to, but I shouldn't. Not now at least, because he's a bit stronger. We might also see little girls walking around. That's a gangster. Enemies flee when they are about to die. That's a chicken. Chickens are very evasive. Oh yeah! My little girl has a cursed bow. She's not stepping into traps. The cursed bow is making her teleport. Because that's why that's what cursed items do in this game for some reason. They give you teleportitis. You have to be extremely careful. <laughs> Equipping cursed stuff because it's so annoying. Uh, what else? There's some inside lanes here. I don't remember what they are. I think they let me see the stats of an enemy. Rusty ring. Uh. There is a lot of potions. Oh, that guy. He noticed me. He's gonna kill me. He's killed my girl. <laughs> he killed the little girl. Okay. Uh, let's go downstairs. I should actually go back town to get the little girl back. Because I cannot do the, this dungeon on my own. How do I see the map? Oh. The map is on the very bottom. Uh, left corner, but I can't really see where the staircase is. Okay, it's there. Uh, I opened the door and gained it a level <laughs> because doors. Every door in this game requires the lock picking skill. Anyways, oh, I got ambushed. Anyways, I was talking about potions and how there's a lot of them. You only have to identify what they are on, but you always have to identify them to know whether or not they are cursed or blessed. Okay, the identify dude is sleeping. Uh, I could eat some shoes. <laughs> Let's eat some shoes. Uh, speed develops. Uh, how do I revive my pet? Oh, it's at the ENN. I don't know how to spell this. The tavern. Where is this guy? So I have to pay to resurrect the little girl. Whenever your pet dies, he gets pissed off a little bit. He lose a little bit of... Uh, I don't know. Oh, everybody's sleeping. God damn it. I have to wait until morning. Also, 
traveling on a heavy rain caused confusion for some reason. Let's just go back to the dungeon. You can see I have a lot of trouble killing anything early on. Be mainly because of lack of accuracy, it's not lack of damage. Anyways, how do I identify stuff? I don't have used magic device, so yeah, I'm just wasting charges trying to use this rod. But that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I wanted to identify those claws cause wearing claws is pretty good, they give you vitality and defenses. They are like shields. What else do I want to identify? The other rods. The little girl disappeared cause she's cursed. So we have magic missile. Uh, rods are very helpful to kill enemies that you cannot hit. Like magic missile, it never misses. Also magic laser. But I believe magic laser is way harder for me to evoke. Let's put on this obsidian claw. Uh, that's a silver cat. That's one of those neutral NPCs. I think all cats are neutral. That's a cobalt. That's an, what an enemy cobalt looks like. Uh, picking up those gold bars, I don't know if they're actually useful. I was talking about potions and I forgot. The thing about potions is that until you identify some of them, you don't want to drink potions. Uh, there's a potion of acid and if you drink one early on it will most definitely kill you so instead of identifying them I wanna throw them at enemies also that's a silver bell uh, it's a very uh, platina bell I'm sorry it drops platinum coins and a lot of gold but the problem is that you cannot hit them they are very evasive and resist everything Except poison. So if you have a potion of poison, you can throw it at him and kill him easily unless you miss. So I don't even know if I have a potion of poison. But I'm gonna throw it to see. Uh, let's see. I also got a monster ball from the mate craft. Monster balls let you capture enemies, they're like pokeballs. But you have to weaken the enemy first, just like Pokemon. We might get a horse for ourselves so we, we can ride it. Uh, that was a... I don't even know. That was a Hex Potion, I believe. Every effect in this game, almost every effect in this game, exists in the form of a potion and also a rod. It's very uh, convoluted, I should say. The same thing for spells, like you can have a potion of healing, a spell of healing, a rod of healing, or haste, or whatever. I'm just gonna throw all my potions at this guy to see what they are. I might find potion, might find a poison. Nope. When I finally get the potion, I'm gonna end up missing. No, I don't have poison with my inventory. Just forget him. Uh, how do I evoke? God, I forgot all the hotkeys, so I have to navigate to find the menu I want. I wanna identify this amulet. Because it's made of a, out of glass, which increases my speed. The dungeon has a lot of loot on the floor, and this is one of the reasons I like to carry uh, 
I like to get the 8 lifting, lifting skill because there's just so much stuff to carry. Okay, I'm gonna eat this stuff. It's weighing me down. Also, you identify stuff as you explore. Like this one is telling me it's good. And I'm pretty sure if it tells you if it tells you if it's telling you it's good, it's probably not cursed, but I'm not gonna risk it. Anyways, our goal here is to just go down to the last level and find the lost puppy. There is so much crap in this game, like this scarecrow that you can put on your farm. Uh, have you heard that Ultra Violent 4 uh, want to try for the last run in the sudden death, 15 runs? Uh, he's not gonna go for it, I don't think. And last I checked, he's really behind time if he's planning for that. So I don't think he's gonna go for it. The best thing to do now is to just uh, wait for your mark to splat. <laughs> There's not much else to do and try to max out the points. Uh, God damn it, I don't remember how to zap stuff. I wanna use magic missile to kill that bat. Yeah, I don't doubt he wanted it. I just doubt that he is gonna get it. The little girl is way stronger than me. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, we're getting sleepy. Wish it's pretty bad. It's not not that bad actually. We can drink some coffee. There we go. Although you kind of want to sleep but because when you sleep you develop some stats. Is it possible to upgrade? Yes, you actually can. But that's something you only find very late in the game. Like there's an item that you can use to evolve your pets. And I believe the little girl can evolve in so many things. Yeah, you have to look lo look that up on the wiki of this game. It's so interesting, actually. There is so much stuff. Uh, blood of snail. Just picking all kinds of trash. Oh, there's a bed here if I wanted to sleep. But I don't think sleeping in the dungeon works very well. Okay, I'm too heavy. Should drop those shields. I'm gonna give this bardish to the little girl. I don't know if it's cursed or not. I'm just gonna give her. She's using she's using two axes now, okay. That works I guess. Drop this energy cell. Uh, I'm just gonna eat this Tomophilia. Can she become a public house matron? <laughs> she, like, she can become so many things I don't even remember. Or maybe it's not her, maybe it's some other pet. I believe she becomes a Valkyrie. A Valkyrie. I don't know how to spell that. Uh, with the Heart of Evolution. She grew tentacles. <laughs> Anyways. 
linear girl, that's not right. Also, this is a outdated version of the game. It's the version I used to play before they added peeing. I just got hookshotted. I don't know how to cook, that's a shame. Cooking is kinda important. You find a lot of food in the dungeon, but like it's corpses and you have to cook them. I'm gonna find this freaking evoke button, I swear. No, I will not. Zap. Oh, it's shift Z. Okay. Let me magic me so this guy. Where's my little girl? There she is. Just wondering about. Uh, there's a safe here. I do have lockpicks and the lockpick skill, so I'm just gonna suck everything. Oh, uh, you can see there's a lot of little girls wandering around. They're all neutral. I believe that guy is also neutral. That guy that looks like a clown is the goblin sprite. That's what a goblin looks like. Romeans. Uh, I wonder if I could find a scroll of remove curse to give to the little girl. But I don't know if it would be enough to actually remove the curse of the... I don't know. Of the bow. There's a scroll of uncurse. Scrolls of returns are used to escape the dungeon. Let me see if it, she actually knows how to use this. Oh. She did it. She actually uncursed the bow. Pets are really smart in this game. Uh drop this rotten corpse she's gonna eat it yep they are not that smart though they eat uh, rotten food they also eat undead food which you should never eat like mummy meat never eat mummy meat <laughs> it de decreases all your stats if you do uh, we got scrolls of inferior material we can use this to change the material of any anything, almost anything, like my bronze bullet. I'm gonna use it so you can see. Uh, if it's normal, it will just change the material. If it's a blessed, it will probably give a better material. And if it's cursed, uh, if it's did I say normal or cursed already? I lost my train of thought. That doesn't matter. Let's use it here. It became a iron bullet. That doesn't really change anything. I want like a bone, a bone bullet or like a cloth bu bullet. Uh, there we go, bone bullet. This one has more accuracy. You can see the two at the end. This is the accuracy bonus. Mummy meat. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There is meat of everything in this game. There is butterfly meat. My pet just ate. Uh, rotten butterfly meat. Uh, also, 
you can by uh, to learn spells in this game you read the spell books and that give you charges of that spell but reading a spell book requires training and if you don't do that you could actually die reading a book it can drain all your MP and I believe it can also summon enemies it's very dangerous speaking of very dangerous that this guy over here is very dangerous I don't remember how to properly look at something like I don't even know how to cycle this thing properly anyways I wish I had like a molotov or something to throw at that guy I'm just gonna shoot it. Okay, my little girl died. Oh, this is the puppy I have to save. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, I have to take this guy out of the dungeon now. Which is really hard when your little girl is dead. He already died, so we have to go down again to find him again. We leveled up again. I'm just gonna keep pumping marksman and firearm. Oh, there's a scorpion coming. Let me use some. That's a rod of web, not very useful right now. I got a bunch of rods of magic laser. Okay, we got some rods of teleport as well. Like, you don't really run out of resources in this game, I should say. Some of them at least, like you're never gonna run out of teleport unless you try really hard. This scorpion's killing me. I have to use the wands at him because I have no accuracy to hit him otherwise. <laughs> the Night King. <laughs> uh, that wand is empty. I wish I had a wand of healing before I die to this poison. How do I rest? There we go. Yes. There certainly was. Yeah, you could get like 6 mutagenic meat of a uh, sky beast. And it was a very solid way of starting your mutation minigame. I burden it again. Let me drop this material box. Uh, actually, let me open the material box. Give me garbage. That's okay. I'm just gonna hang around those neutral NPCs. Let them kill stuff for me. There is the puppy. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Uh, didn't the bot just say it? You can type pool to see. There are no other options. Uh, that's a green cat. I think that's a zombie cat. Yeah, the cat zombie. Okay. I believe he's not hostile. I really have to just go for the staircase. Which is pretty hard. 
The other thing I could do is teleport my puppy out of danger. The problem is that he might be teleported and still be in danger. I'm gonna die to this freaking scorpion. Maybe I teleport him. He's gonna make his way back. That's the bad thing about stealth in this game. Is that once an enemy detects you, he will chase you forever and ever. I have a lot of blue potions. None of them are stacked for some reason. Oh, that's a cupid. That's pretty fucking dangerous. I don't know what my puppy thinks he's doing. He's dead. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Come here, puppy. God damn it. I don't remember how to order my allies around. Just gonna do this. He probably gonna die to poison. Okay, this is a rod of magic mapping. Helps me see the map. Okay, puppy died. I have to find him again. <laughs> Nostalgic for a dawn. Ah, people didn't vote for seal last time. That got me surprised. There's not a whole lot of people want to see a seal gameplay. Okay, let me drop this and this. Read my boots again. I am bloated, I cannot eat. I think I'm just gonna get out of here and try to find the little girl. Uh, I'm gonna read my scroll of return. It takes me back to my house. How could you? The inventory in this game is just amazing. <laughs> there is so much shit. Alright. Let's see if they are awake. So, in this game there is something called Platinum Coins. And you can use them to unlock new skills or to increase the potential of your skills. And... What that ends up doing is create a lot of grinding, like a lot, because, let me see, you can see the potential of marksman or stealth, things that level up pretty as you go, like eye of mind, my critical strike, uh, they go down in percentages pretty fast. And once they are like 20%, you just don't level them up anymore. You have to increase their potential again. So you have to get those platinum coins. And the way you get those is by completing quests and completing dungeons as well, killing the boss of a dungeon. The puppy cave doesn't have a boss though. Uh, put on the bronze claw. Put some engagement ring to get some charisma. So I have poison. I have cursed potion of restore spirit. I believe restore spirit restores your uh, what your MP and your stats. No, I think a potion of restore body restore your stats. Potion of defender is pretty useful. Confusion not so much. That dirty water, I don't know what what it's for. Defender and concentration are helpful. Feeder increases your evasion. Scroll of knowledge, I have no idea. Detect objects. It's like taking no mutation. 
The scroll of name lets you change the name of an item or add a name to it. Not very useful. Okay, I got I got a few charges of magic missile now, that's pretty helpful. Uh, sell those animal parts. I have two tobaccos, I don't know where I got them. I don't know what to do with them. It is something I usually do in the game, but I forgot. Now this guy is asleep. Uh, when I start the game, I usually like to buy a blessed potion of restore spirit and restore body if I if I find at the shop at this woman, but she's sleeping. This child, I mean, I don't know. You have to increase my health more so I can survive early traps. Is there anything here I could get? I don't think so. The shop didn't refresh yet. If like... Uh, we have some new quests though. There's one guy asking for an earth crystal. I think there's one for sale here. Let me see... There it is. So I'm gonna buy it. And do this freaking quest. Oh, the guy's sleep. God damn it. Okay, I'll do the quest later. Any Anything else? It's down. It should be... They should be waking up pretty soon. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, okay, I got ambushed. <laughs> Deserved. God damn it. Okay, this guy is gonna murder my ass. He's super strong. Unless I surrender. But what I can also do... Apparently my emojis are relevant. No, they aren't. Uh... How about I do more demon string after this SF today? Depending on when it ends, I would be up for that. Although we're probably gonna be starting a new game cause I am about to die I feel like. We'll see. Uh, so I'm gonna challenge this guy. <laughs> Look at him. I'm just gonna try to teleport away. Okay, the little girl died, <laughs> but I, I escaped and that's what matters. Now we can resurrect her. She's pissed. But I didn't lose anything, at least. I didn't lose my life either. Uh, what I, I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I, I was waiting for the NPCs to wake up. So I can do this quest that is no longer here. God damn it. Okay, somebody wants a rod of teleportation. I can I can do that. Here you go. So doing those quests I get platinum coins and also some loot. And this is the guy that trains you for platinum coins. You can see it costs you platinum coins to raise the potential of any skill. And he can also teach you other skills for 5 Platinum. Like cooking. <laughs> we could learn to cook. It's a bit helpful. 3 deaths. Pets die a lot in this game. Don't, don't even be surprised. Okay. The shop seems to have refreshed. Nice metal shotgun. But... What I really want is a machine gun, cause they are way more accurate. Or maybe a pistol, but that one sucks. Let's see what's in here. There's a power bullet. It's pretty heavy. But it's more accurate than my current bullet. It increases my perception as well, so I'm gonna buy it. Coldproof blankets. Let's see the po potion shop. Oh, there we go. Those are the potions I want. So now I have 62 health and 22 MP. I don't really use MP for anything, I don't think. Oh, oh yeah. That's another thing you can use. Instead of potion, you can use dye. 
to poison enemies. So I'm gonna buy those in, key, in case I see those uh, platinum bells. I can use this to kill them. Potion of Hero is a bit good, but I'm not gonna buy it now. I don't think there's anything else I want. Maybe a potion of Cure Major Wounds. Somebody wants a book of Fireball, that's not gonna happen. Alright, let's go try the Puppy Cave again. Maybe I should get some gear for the, some better gear for the little girl, but I already wasted all my all my money. There's a level 2 dungeon we could also do, but I'm gonna try to complete this quest first. Uh, I'm using a shotgun as a weapon and as you can guess Even though you don't see it the shotgun does more damage the closer the enemy are That's a very hitting stat from the guns and Bows and other handed weapon are also like this, but I don't really remember how they work. Hold on a minute. All right, where was I? Just picking up more crap. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take away this battle wax because I'm pretty sure she's having trouble using two weapons. Oh, you can also use your shield instead of a ranged weapon. You can put a shield there, so you have like a shield on your back. If you're not using ranged weapons. Right now I'm using two claws and a shotgun. The claws are just like shields. Yeah, that's the... There's some very... Uh, there's some same tiles, I should say. Not those boots, I think there are some other boots that are very similar. Yeah, there's the box of beasts. It's a box of materials here. Uh, I believe books in Crow used to look like this as well, until they changed it. Also those hats, I believe they were also the same. Uh, this hat is pretty heavy. Oh, I forgot to change my bullet. Let me drop this axe and this bone bullet. Mm, I found a machine gun, but I, I don't know what it's made out. And I don't know if it's in cursed. Yeah, the scythe as well. Uh, I believe crossbows used to look like that as well. Also the ballista, <laughs> I like the comparison. Yeah, that's the ballista. <laughs> uh, you can throw large rocks in this game as well. Large rocks were st are stupidly heavy. Uh, that guy is very dangerous. That's a lizard man, he shouldn't be here. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Cause I have no hope of killing- Yep, he killed a little girl. <laughs> there are some really out of depth enemies in this place sometimes and it really pisses me off. 
I'm probably not gonna be able to complete the quest again. Oops, I shoot in the little girl. You can shoot uh, neutral enemies. So long you don't hit them, they will not get mad at you. Uh, that guy is also a problem. The Wizard of Elea. Uh, she has Nerve Bolt, I, I believe. Nerve is a type of resistance in this game. I don't think I have Nerve Resistance. Oh, they, there's, a, there's a horse here. I could try to capture it. But I don't think I have the riding skill because I didn't start as a archer. So I cannot ride it. But let me see if I can pick it up. I missed. <laughs> missed the Pokeball. Come back here, yo. Ah, he's not weakened anymore. Uh, he's killing me. I don't want to kill him. I want to try to capture him. Yeah, you can. You can also buy one. In the slave market. Uh, I'm super dead. I have to rest. Just gonna eat some uncooked food. Ah, uh, let's go back up. Oh, hey, there's water here. Uh, your metabolism is low down. Uh, that's supposed to be bad. Let me see. I keep getting bad mutations out of the fountains. Minus regeneration. Uh oh. <laughs> you suffer from anemia. That's why I didn't want the little girl. That's what happens. Super poisoned. Alright. There's the puppy. Uh, there is a better way to aim at enemies. I just don't remember. Pick. Oh, there's a bell. Throw poison at it. Now you're gonna see the gold. See this? Look at this. 3000 gold on the floor. On the fishing rod. Uh, the puppy died. God damn it. Uh, we have to find the puppy again. Oh, we got chased by scorpions. Let me just teleport myself. There he is. Okay, we got a level. Uh, 
Uh, this guy's a boss. And he's an arc wire, so he's pretty strong. Oh yeah. I don't think I can escape him. <laughs> Maybe I try to teleport him. The bear is gonna get me though. Okay, the pup is with me for now. I'm also heavy. I got some raw wings. I could eat those. Uh, damn it, I fell into a teleport trap. Okay, here, there we go. Please, puppy, come with me. God damn it, puppy. This game has events, like I just got one, where there was food on the floor and it asked me if I wanted to eat it, so I did. That's a fluffy tail, it increases my luck. The, the bat is trying to unlock the door to escape the puppy. That's the sound of the lock picking. Where is the staircase? The worst part is that if the puppy steps on a trap that does damage and instantly dies There it is. We're almost out of here. Like that? God damn it! Just as I saw the staircase. Alright, we have to go get our little girl. Just so she can die again. Alright, uh, I think a week passed already. We received our salary. We have to go home to get it. Wanna trade? Nice cloak. Wait, are you serious? You wanna trade that? Uh, oh, you get... It's close of Oracle. Uh, Oracle tells you where unique items spawn it. In what dungeon? Sometimes, sometimes they don't. Yeah, we have a salary, better believe it. And scrolls of Oracle are very good for using as trade currency. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> My job is adventuring. Uh, I'm sleepy, so I'm just gonna sleep. Alright, we got regeneration. Sometimes you have dreams that give you spells. Now this NPC is trapping me. Okay.
Uh, where is this guy? Man, I really want to give a plate armor to my little girl. Uh, this guy doesn't trade his. It's too expensive. Maybe on the shop there's something for her. Platinum helmet, bandit, mail, raw boots. I think that will do. Okay, she should be a lot more su survivable now. Let's eat this wing. Alright, here we go again. This is just a quest to get a cooler. A picnic cooler. So we can store food on it and it will not rot and we can carry it around. That's what this quest is for. Oh, that's a large rock. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. Just a rock, actually. Uh, oops. There we go. Yeah. So we can be a large ro ogre if we want. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's super heavy. You can see I'm really heavy. I don't even know what I'm carrying that is weighing me down. I think I'm carrying too much, too many potions and scrolls. I forgot to sell my stuff. It's okay. Ah, that's just a lame horse. I'm still trying to find a ro horse to capture. We could buy one as well. But that's not as interesting. Oh, there's some coffee here. Can't you exercise your eye lifting? Yes. That's exactly how you train eight lifting, but it trains so slowly. You can carry, uh, I believe there is no limit to how much you can carry, but at some point you start taking damage if you're carrying too much. Let me drop some food for the little girl. She doesn't eat anything that's uh, cursed. So if you don't know if some food is cursed, you can drop on the floor and she see if she eats it. If she doesn't, it's, uh, it's cursed. Pre-made cups of coffee sitting around on the ground. Well, it's not pre-made. Somebody made it. I hope. Rather firewall. Firewall is pretty useful, but you have to be careful. Living Castlevania world <laughs> pre-made drum rolls. <laughs> hey Popolos, this is Elona. Uh, this is 
the game Blue wanted me to play to ruin my channel, I think. Restore chest and get market. <laughs> uh, the puppy died, I think. Where is my puppy? Did he die? No, oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. That's a clear liquid here. This is a potion of sulfuric acid. You can tell by the sprite. Where is it? This. This is acid. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Oh yeah. Also, if you use like a fire spell, a uh, fire bolt, it will burn everything that it passes through on the ground. And <laughs> unless it's food, if it's food, it will cook it. So if you don't know how to cook, that's one way to do it. What is this? That's a sniper rifle. Hold on a minute. This might be good. Ah, it's a Mika sniper rifle. Maybe I have a scroll of inferior material to change it. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, Growl sniper rifle. <laughs> now it's even worse. That's how I cook in real life. Yeah, just throw a firebolt at it. Like you can make a trail of food, throw a firebolt and serve a buffet. It's pretty, it's pretty great. It invokes decapitation. Huh. I don't know how you decapitate something with a sniper rifle. I guess it means headshot. Or just go for the neck. <laughs> Swing it really hard. Oh, that's a portable cooking kit on the floor. Like if we, we knew how to cook, it would be super useful. All right, we did it. We rescued the puppy. Where is that kid? We got our chili box, our picnic cooler. Alright, let's see what I have to sell here. I could save this sniper rifle. That is the Apollo of Sulfuric. I'm gonna save that. That's a very good weapon <laughs> early in the game. Oh, there's acid proof and fire proof as well. Anything that is not fireproof can be destroyed by a fire spell or a fire enemy. Even your equipment, your weapons. And that's a lesson to be learned. So that. There's also scrolls of curse. Like you can walk over a firewall and lose equipment as well. Did you just get 2.5k? I think I did. There was an event where I got lucky and found some gold on the floor. Or somebody gave it to me. 
I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't think I have enough intimacy with my pet to invite him to eat with me. Yeah, okay. I don't. So I'm just gonna eat alone. Uh, quest does say I want it. He wants something from somebody else. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be that person. If we have that item, we can just give it. But you can go trade with that person or you can kill that person for his item. NPCs on this game have never die. <laughs> uh, they never die permanently. They just disappear and respawn later if you kill them. Sometimes they just die randomly. Like they quaff sulfuric acid or something. Uh, let's try to do a haunting quest. This is just... They just drop you on a map and you kill stuff. I'm considering using this sniper rifle just for the range and because it has decapitation. Uh, that's trash, I'm not gonna pick that up. Oh, there are Summon Monsters spell. It summons hostile enemies. Hostile, hostile enemies, yeah, there is after a hostile, I guess. Let's do a normal dungeon. Maybe we could jump, in, jump into a very high level dungeon, but then we will just die immediately. But at this point, I feel like I showcased most of what this game has to offer. Most of the basics, at least. So, there is not much else for me to do right now. I could go f to the main dungeon, but it's just like every other dungeon in the game. There is just no level design. You just go down the staircase until you reach the end and kill the boss. Except, there is no boss until the very end. Uh, is that guy poison immune? There we go. If you throw a potion and it hits nobody, hits the ground, it will create a... Let's call it a cloud effect. The effect of the potion will just stay on the ground and affect whoever stands on it. Which in this case was the little girl, and the little girl got pissed off. Uh, she also stepped on a trap. Uh, let's go down. Let's go fight the boss. The boss can be anything. Uh, the boss could be a little girl, and in that case, it would be a neutral, a neutral boss. It will, would also be a very strong boss. The boss could also be like a silver bell, a platina bell, I should say, and it would be super hard to fight it. Uh, we got some meat. I wanna put it there so it doesn't rot. I stepped it on a trap and I'm gonna die to this bat. I just realized this is a vampire bat, I should say. Yeah, it's a vampire bat. It's super strong for this early. There are no ways for me to hit it as well. Because it's too evasive. So I guess I'm just gonna heal again. And I could throw a potion 
or use firewall but it's probably gonna hit my little girl if I do that because she's too close oh I have a rod of cure that's pretty good if I can reach a hundred percent on on my you can see below my health I can use my gauge release uh, that probably should kill the, the vampire bat but the only way to do that is by attacking okay the little girl killed it she has way more accuracy than me which is basically why she's the stronger Uh, you can give engagement rings to your little girls if you want. The problem is trying to take them back. See, she likes it. That's one way of gaining... Uh... Oh, see, now she's aimable. And you can marry your pet, but I better not get in the chat in the tail about that. Uh, you can tell by the music this is where the boss is. Hilarion, long time no see, there's a ghost following me. Uh, if it's made out of raw, you can eat engagement ring. Or if you try to take away the engagement ring, the little girl will eat it and get mad at you. Also, I missed the message of what was on this floor, what was the boss, so I have no idea. The only defining characteristic of the boss is that, is that he can dig walls. Sugar. It's freaking raw! Uh, there's a lot of enemies coming, so I'm gonna use firewall here. Also, this is a kamikaze eek, I believe. Yeah, he's gonna explode if I don't kill him. I'm gonna let the little girl kill the putits, so she gains... Uh, she... She feels happy about it. That kamikaze eek exploded on me and I took a bunch of damage. Oh, there's a bunch of kamikaze eeks. Okay, I have to teleport. Uh, I don't know if the little girl survived it. Is fantastic. I'm hungry as well. I don't know if the little girl is alive. Oh, there she is. She's fine. I still don't know where the boss is or who the boss is. The little girl's muscles look stronger. She gained strength. How many? Oh, there's too many. Alright, the little girl died. There was a pack of kamikaze eggs, like an entire room of them. There's still probably more left. And they are not very strong, but they are a bit dangerous. They are not the type of enemy you want to be fighting on your first dungeon.
Uh, let me drop some stuff. I'm too heavy. Let me drop those tobaccos. Hey, no, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> oh, there's some milk here and this stone. Obsidian pistol, this is actually good. Oh, this is the boss. You can tell by the life and by the fact he's kicking my ass. I should have buffed before I started fighting him. Come back here, yo. There we go. We got some loot, we got a shaft as a reward whenever you kill the boss. Oh, there's a pot here. <laughs> I don't know if I can carry it. Conjury flame. Save that food. Also, I believe every every time you kill a boss, you get a scroll of escape, so it can you have to leave the dungeon. Rao Katana. This little girl is starting to get too expensive to resurrect. I'm <laughs> zoomed idiot. Have you played this game, Larian? Because I, I don't know if you are giving genuine advice or not. <laughs> I own bought a shop. Oh, that's a nice ring. Uh, this charm uh, negates confusion. Which I believe is really important with ranged. I think you cannot fire if you are confused. Uh, keep the engagement ring. Many hours. Oh, you can you put the statues on the museum, right, or something like that. But, but yeah, I don't think we are getting enough money today to buy that. <laughs> uh, I think there was a guy who wanted a staff of sumo monsters, a rod of sumo monsters. There we go. Ah, he's sleeping. Damn it. Somebody wants a tombstone. <laughs> I want to give my kid tombstone as a birthday present. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. This game. Uh I don't, I don't know. Uh <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming this game again, Larian. Like, I'm gonna have to make a big effort. I don't know if people actually want to see it. If people are enjoying this, I can do more, definitely. But like I said, I'm, oh, I'm gonna again another level for negotiating. Uh, I don't know how far I can take this game. I wanted to learn some skills, but those guys are sleeping still. Oh, I could sleep as well. I'm an idiot. Let's go to bed.
Wow, this guy has a nice armor, adamantium breastplate, and he's willing to trade it. Let me see what I can give you. Let me give you a scroll of, uh, of game material. There we go, I'm not gonna use that. This armor is too heavy for me though, so I'm gonna give it to the little girl. Oh, she doesn't want to use it, okay. Oh, I guess I can make an effort. I know you are, Blue. But yeah, uh, I only have 20 more minutes of this. And then I have to do the... Uh, run of the week. On Stone Soup. I got cursed during my sleep. Oh, there's a blessed potion of mutation. I'm gonna buy that. Uh, I think that was super expensive, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to buy scrolls of inferior material, but there is none for sale. Most annoying RNG effect. Uh, what is something I could buy? Oh, stethoscope. <laughs> so I can keep track of the little girl's health. Uh, how do I use this? Uh, she blushes, calls me a pervert, but that's okay. That's for her own good. Oh, might raw thick collets. I'm gonna eat those. And I raw claymore. <laughs> oh, the raw noodles rotted. Oops. The little girl doesn't care. Not really, I just like to eat stuff that increases stats. Uh, I'm having issues with carrying stuff. I'm gonna level up weightlifting. It's not gonna be enough. The armor I'm carrying right now is too heavy. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, negates fear. I wanna buy a uh, trade this hat from from her. Also, let's craft the potion of mutation. <laughs> Your voice becomes scary. That was a blessed potion of mutation, and I still got unlucky. So now I have minus ten charisma. Okay. That's fair, I guess. What do you have? Platinum Whip? Let's put on this hat. Alright, uh, let's do the main dungeon. Let's start it, at least. There's not gonna be anything special. But doing this lets us get a treasury map. Oops. I should have bought the piggy bank to put gold on it so I could break it so my little girl could have some of my gold to increase her skills. A 
There's this guy. Necromanual. What? Alright, so we speak with that guy. He tells us something. I don't know, I remember. And tells us to go talk to the king, I think. So now we go talk to him. And get them bushed on the way. What is this dungeon? Level 1. Uh, here's a traveling merchant. Everything's too expensive. Here's another one. <laughs> oh, this one is expensive. Uh, the Maston. Oh yeah, there is a anatomy skill. Which I believe increases your chances of getting corpses from enemies you kill. Which you can then cook. Okay, this is the capital of this... Place. I don't know. Let's talk to the king. I never tried to help them. Don't they like uh, murder you pretty hard? Oh, we also get a potion of core uh, corruption. Uh, what skills can I learn? Oh, we can learn to write. Let's do it. And let's increase our maxman skill. I do have a bunch of platinum. No, we don't. This is a real town. <laughs> Just like any other. Oh, there's fireproof blankets. We need those. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I was gonna do something. Oh yeah, we have a treasury map. Where is that? So let's go get some treasure. We have to find out where this is on the world map. The eastern bed. Why Why the eastern bed? Isn't like the cupid bed the, the best one? Riding is super important. I don't know, I just like riding. Okay, so the treasure should be on the snow. <laughs> Somewhere. Let me take a good look at this. So there's a tree here and a tree there. That's our clue. Let's see. I don't see it. Oh, it's here. Let me see. I think, yeah. Yeah, it's probably here. So let's go there. Probably gonna starve on my way there, but uh, the loot is pretty worth it. Move there. You can see the days passing. Uh, I believe this is the place. How do I dig again? Ah, uh, see? We got a cigarette. Worth it. 
so now we read the scroll of return to go back home. I forgot to pick up my salary. You can get skill tickets, which lets you learn new skills for free. I also gonna put all my food here until I learn how to cook. Uh, we need sleep. Let's go sleep. Maybe there's a decent bed for sale. Uh, I don't see it. There's an eastern partition. I don't think you can sleep on those. I keep coming back for Shena. Uh, use cigarette. I don't think I should smoke. I don't think that's a good idea. Creepy dream. God, I'm, I keep bumping into the NPCs. I should buy some actual food. Let's learn to cook. Also, we could learn traveling. It would have been good to have traveling when you, we were treasury hunting. Since that counts as traveling. Let's see what we got. Leather armor of cold, of cold resistance. That's pretty nice. Lots of cold resistance. What else was there? Uh, stupid ring. This prevents teleport. This is kind of good to give to a pet so he doesn't slip away. Alright, I can buy some noodles to cook. Instead of buying the cooked food, let's just cook ourselves. Alright, what did I make? Hard bread, exhausted noodle. I did make some pasta. Uh, we could also do harvest quests, but I really just like to do hunting quests. They are way more simple. Just kill stuff. Harvest quests are so tiresome. Making me hungry. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed yet, everything you equip in this game shows up. It's pretty nice. Makes you look really cute. Uh, where is whoever gave me this quest? This guy. No banana robes. Maybe if we find a coral something. There is nothing more. Oh, you can invest money on shops. So they sell better stuff when you visit them. There's also the investing skill that makes investing cheaper. Let's finish this dungeon that I should have finished it already. Okay, that's the acid blobs. Uh, they corrode your equipment. This is old corrosion. It also does a ton of damage.
I guess I'm gonna let the little girl take care of this. I'm gonna teleport her now. That didn't work. <laughs> Wait, oh, I can only teleport things that are adjacent. So I was just slapping nothing there and the little girl died. Again. Let me try to use some firewall. That did not work. There we go. Oh, the asset put out the fire. Okay. I also have not uh, invested on my equipment. You can enchant your equipment at the shop. Gonna keep pumping 8 lifting now. I should eat. There we go. Uh, my bronze ring got damaged. But that the lift of my warriors cause the asset also does a ton of damage. Uh Larian, do you know the hotkey to look around without uh, without just having being locked on targets, I don't know how to explain it. Whenever I press R L, okay. Let me see. It's not K. Yeah, I have no clue. Anyways, let's complete the quest and revive the little girl. And I think this is gonna be enough Elona for today. <laughs> Might do another stream of it. Depending on what people want to see. I will I might add it to a vote again. And if it wins, then it's your guys' fault, not mine. I did not even vote on the last... Last vote that there was. Oh, this is a cursed potion of cure corruption. That's a shame. I don't remember how to uncurse them. It will win again. <laughs> God, there is just so much inventory on this game to manage. Like, I can spend hours figuring out what I have to sell. Uh, don't sell the cigarette. Just sell it. Well, I might save it. That guy teleported. Oh yeah, revive the little girl. I'm still sad that we did not get a horse. We need to pour blessed water on something. Pure water on a shrine, bless of the water. Pure water is their rarest potion. <laughs> Pure water is their rarest potion. 
Uh, how do you fill a fountain? Do you just pour water on it? I don't think it works with dirty water, does it? Uh, I'm gonna get a portable cooking tool so I can cook the meat I get from enemies. You enjoy showing off your body. This means I got charisma. Oh, I have one feat to acquire. Let's get more sp speed. Anyways, load. <laughs> Use empty body on bottle on fountain. Receive hand on potion. Do you sell empty bottles? No. Oh, potions of troll blood are pretty nice. They give you exactly troll blood. They make you regenerate pretty fast. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna make a five minute break just to grab a coffee and swap to stone soup. And then maybe after that I can do a little more of Brook, depending on how the uh, stone soup run goes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish that today, or if I'm gonna be able to finish it fast enough, but we'll see. So, find a cup of coffee just sitting around. Yeah, coffee is way more common than water. So yeah, this was Elona, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna be back soon. Thanks for watching. Be right back.